But my cat Fuji adheres to one of the biggest feline traits that there are. If I fit, I sit. Laptop cases, boxes, this brown towel, the vegetable patches outside. Yes, she will literally sleep in mud. You want to know the one place that she doesn't sit? Her dedicated bed. Ironically, all right, this I swear it was not planned. I didn't manufacture this for the video. My rotating wallpaper today is Fuji sitting in her bed, which I realize destroys my entire argument. This might be the one time she ever sat in her bed. Like every cat that has existed in the history of ever, Fuji is somewhat particular. A cozy, soft teddy blanket. No, I don't want that! Mud. Yes, I yearn for the cold, hard feel of Mother Nature. I know Fuji literally doesn't care about any of this, and I'm just being a loving cat dad who is projecting onto her, but I believe she needs a bed. She needs somewhere to sleep that isn't a dirt patch or a brown towel. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's build Fuji the perfect custom cat bed. As Thanos once said, I'll do it myself. I think I need a little bit of inspiration. Custom cat bed ideas. Get laid beds. Wait, that doesn't feel appropriate for a pet's bed. This is huge. 17 DIY cat beds you can build today. <laughs> Ridiculously easy no sew cat bed. That is literally just a blanket. DIY cat house using an old TV tray. It's like a little glamping tent for your cat. Yeah, it's a cardboard box with a hole cut out of it just with extra steps. I'm looking for something a little bit more bougie, I think, because that's what Fuji needs. She needs bouge. Cardboard igloo. Uh, excuse me. Igloo is a maybe. I like the look of the igloo. That is a dog. They thought they could sneak that one past me. That is a dog. Cool bed, though. Wait. Wow, is this like properly like, God, this is how chaotically I watch a video. I skip through and I'm like, hmm, why doesn't the video make any sense to me? Mmm, oh wow. Wow, what would Fuji think of a wicker basket? What is this, a D20 cat bed? A DIY moon-shaped cat bed. Like I said, Fuji is happy with a brown towel. I'm prepared to put some effort in, but not that much effort. Mmm, 350 pounds? We could go into business making cat beds. So the thing I like about this is you've got a nice frame that would go with the rest of the furniture in the house, but also it's quite customizable in that we could swap out the soft furnishing that is on the bed. You could even do it seasonally. And this way as well, we can choose the exact right materials that we know Fuji will enjoy being around. Inspiration has been gathered. We can now move on to the design phase and build this cat a bed. So I think the design is actually gonna be fairly simple. And I think this is kind of a case of, I just need to get a bunch of wood and start smashing it together <laughs> and hopefully a cat bed comes out of it. I could meticulously design this for hours or I could just get going. As soon as I start actually just making the bare bones of the frame, it should all just fall into place. Let's go get some wood. That's what we want Fuji to be like. Yeah, in that. This way. Let's take a cat. A cat could sit on that, I think. Like that for the front and the back. And then have your slats sit on top of that. It's taken way too long to figure this out, but I think this is the wood we need. Okay. Ah, Mr. President, your package is safe. The wood is in the car, safe and sound. I have a rough idea in my mind of how I'm gonna do this. So I need to get home and just start bang, 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 make a frame, make Fuji happy. That's the plan. <laughs> Step one, gather the tools. Do not look in here, do not look at the mess. Do not perceive this part of the video. This part is not for human eyes. Don't look at the mess. Clamps. I said clamps, by the way, clamps, not clams. You think you can do DIY with clams? Are you out of your mind? Step two, I want to start marking up my wood to fit the new rough specifications. Let's see how we get on. pine is not as nice to work with as something like oak, for example, but it is a lot cheaper than oak. And I'm trying to not spend 350 pounds on a cat bed. So this is what we've got to work with. <laughs> First batch of wood has been cut down to length. I'm gonna sand this off a little bit so Fuji doesn't get a splinter. Can cats get splinters? I feel like some deep south prospector polishing his shotgun.
That's the other thing I hate about working with pine, is that it splits a lot more easily, so you gotta be a little bit more delicate with it. It is hat. So that is the first piece of this feline shaped puzzle. This should be able to act as the frame of the bed. Now I just need to measure up and put some slats across this, and it's a proper bed. Good progress so far, I think. It is the next day, and it's a little bit more rainy and gloomy outside. But that's okay, because we're going to be doing some indoor stuff today. These arrived. I bought these cute little oak sofa feet, which should be perfect for Fuji's little cat bed. The delivery driver had a riot delivering these. I was not in when this package arrived. Delivered today, parcel was handed to a receptionist, signed by behind a wheelie bin. <laughs> so there's a few more bits and pieces I need, but I don't really feel like going out in this weather. Not even Fuji wants to go out in this weather. So instead, I'm just going to send my magical hand. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, yeah. One of those. Mm hmm Yeah, one of those. Yeah, grab a couple of those. Perfect. Yes, good. Perfect. Did you get everything I asked for? Great job. So I've had a bit of a change of heart regarding the design. I think the slats on the sides and the back kind of make it look like a bit of a baby's crib. And Fuji is not a baby. That's right, isn't it, Fuji? Not a baby. So, MDF. What does MDF stand for? I actually have no idea. What I do know about MDF is it is solid, easy to work with, it smells good. What more do you want? No, really, what more do you want? With this, I can build some nice solid walls around the bed. It makes it a cozy little nook for Fuji to squeeze into. So I'm just waiting for the rain to stop, and then I can go outside and... Do mine eyes deceive me? Is that blue skies I see? This is our window of opportunity. Let's go. This should be everything I need to complete the frame of the bed. Okay, so I've got the basic frame together and I'm ever so slightly disappointed in myself. I feel like it's just kind of like shoddy carpentry. It, like if I paid someone to do this for me, I would throw up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it like from the perspective of a cat. Will Fuji care if the woodwork is slightly shoddy? Probably not. I don't know, maybe like a bit of wood filler might help. Just fill in some of those ugly gaps. I think my head is just stuck in this project right now and I need to try and step back from it and look at it a little differently maybe. Jesus would not be impressed with my carpentry skills. No one's given birth in this manger. Wait, did she give birth? Did Mary give birth in the manger? Wait, who's Jesus? Wait, Jesus' son? Wait, who's Jesus? Is Mary Jesus' is Who's Jesus' is dad? God? I need to step away from this. Oh my God. So the bed dried overnight, and I've done a little bit of decorator's cork over some of the gaps to try and clean it up. And it actually looks a little better. It's starting to look a little bit more solid, which is nice. I think once it's painted, it's actually gonna look pretty good. This is why I need to remember to trust the process always. Doesn't matter what the process is, just trust it. Fuji hasn't looked at it yet. She hasn't inspected it yet. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not a bad omen. I hope that she will be interested in it when it's complete. But this is just the frame, remember. We also have the soft furnishings to add also. Let's get this painted, baby. Mm. Now, Fuji, that is <laughs> going to be a problem. Ooh. Yeah, we got these Just Eat chopsticks from Summer in the City 2014, and they're so rubbish as chopsticks, but they're pretty good as paint stirrers. <laughs> Coats of paint always look a little bit scrappy, but I like the color. It's nice and muted, not too vibrant, but it goes with the rest of the furniture in here, which is gonna be. The frame is dry, just about, I think. So the final thing we need to do is to get these cute little legs on the bottom. It's starting to look like a bed. This is very exciting. I think she knows it's for her. Get the snake, Fuji, get the snake, get the snake, yeah! Dad, come on, is the bed ready yet or not? Let's do a flip. Oh yes. Man, I'm jealous. I would sleep in that. That looks great. And uh, it's nice and level as well. It's not rocking, which was one of my many worries about the build. I think I might need to sand a couple of these down because they don't quite fit. Oh. 
So we're basically at the finish line here. We are so close to finishing this project. And so I took this huge piece of wadding and with the help of Sophie's mum, Steph, we made it into this really comfy soft pillow. Not available in any store. Of course, Fuji being the fussy little cat that she is, she doesn't like it. It's just too soft for her, which we did anticipate being a potential problem. However, I will not be defeated so easily. Check this out. I bought this giant piece of thick, firm foam. When I bought this, I knew it was five inches thick, but for some reason, I didn't check the rest of the dimensions. And by some divine miracle, it fits the bed perfectly. So all I need to do is chop a chunk off of this, put it into the bed, and then I can wrap around this elasticated bed sheet we made. It's gonna work. I really, it's gonna work. <laughs> it has to work. We've come so far. Praise be the foam. Come on. And so, was the bed a success? Take a look for yourself. I'm not gonna lie, I put so much time into making this, there were definitely times where I thought to myself, what if she doesn't even look at it? So I'm very glad that she likes it. Whether or not she knows that I made it for her, it doesn't matter. As long as she has a place to sleep that isn't a brown towel, then we're all good.